hey everyone welcome to windy studio and welcome to another brand new photoshop tutorial and today i just checked my youtube analytics and i found that 70 percent of you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet so please do subscribe my channel because it will help me a lot and also i get a lot of questions that why only sports poster so there is not a specific reason behind that but uh, let me show you something so this is what i do uh, i work as a sports poster designer uh, and by the way this picture were taken by a very talented sports photographer and his name is hector orozco he is an awesome sports photographer and also an awesome guy so if you want to use him for any photography work please check on the description list below there is a contact detail for him so with that note let's uh, dive into the video uh, so first thing first let's uh, create a uh, composition so for that go to file click on new and again i'll just go for a letter size and make the resolution 300 let's change the bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and first let's uh, drag and drop uh, this image over here and right click convert it as a smart object Control t let's make it a little bigger yep right around this size and let's create a layer max and let's uh, get rid of these parts i don't want those parts so let's remove this guy oh make sure the color is black and let's remove those parts And let's uh, drag and drop another cloud image over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom and let's keep it right over here. Now let's create a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for a fog brush. And just a reminder this PST file and the brushes are available on my Patreon page and let's change the color kind of darker maybe more darker maybe something like that and let's add some kind of fog right over here and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch yep and let's uh, drag and drop this image over here so i already made a selection using pen tool and it's not a selection tutorial so i'll not cover that for now so let's drag and drop over here yes and let's convert it as a smart object too and control T let's make it a little smaller maybe right over this size and let's create a layer max and let's get rid of these parts so go to the pen tool and let's uh, uh, draw some max now mix selection and let's fill it with black color Control d all right now let's add a contact shadow on the bottom so for that let's uh, create a new layer go to the brush and let's go for a general brush and let's go for a dark color and control t let's squeeze it and let's now let's select this layer control t let's uh, change some perspective Yep, maybe let's keep it something like that now let's create a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for a soft brush again and let's make it a more darker and same thing over here too and control T let's squeeze it just a little touch and now let's uh, drag and drop another image so let's see let's drag and drop this image over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom 
just right over here control T let's make it a little bigger right over here and let's keep it inside a group so control G let's make a group create a layer max and go to the brush and let's get rid of these parts oh make sure the color is black so yep something like that let's move it towards the center maybe right over here and let's make it a little bigger too yep somewhere around this size let's do some color adjustment so add a new layer go to the hue and saturation and let's drop down the saturation just a little tint yep something like that now let's drag and drop this image over here too and control T let's make it a little bigger right over that side now let's make a copy control J control T and right click let's distort it and then let's move it right over here and let's add a color overlay and let's keep it like that and now let's add a Gaussian blur go to the filter let's add a Gaussian blur if that's blur is too much maybe let's keep it right over here all right let's keep it under this layer and let's add a one more layer and go to the brush and using the same color let's add a contact shadow right over here control T right over here and let's add one more add a new layer and let's add one contact shadow right over here control T let's squeeze it and let's keep it right over here and let's drop down this opacity for the shadows maybe right over here all right now let's uh, do some color adjustments so select this layer go to the filter let's go to the camera raw filter and uh, let's increase exposure just a little bit and let's increase the clarity and increase the texture increase the shadows too and let's drop down the highlights maybe right around here and let's go to uh, the detailing and let's increase the noise reduction and let's increase the color noise reduction too and let's go to the color mixer tab and let's drop down the saturation for everything except red and let's increase the saturation for red maybe right over here and let's drop down the luminance maybe something like that let's keep it like that and let's apply the same setting for this layer so select this layer and go to the filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and for this one I guess let's increase the highlights maybe right around here and let's click OK so this is what we have now let's apply a color look so go over here and let's apply a color lookup and from here click on load and I will just use my scene alert so select this one and click on load let's go all the way to the bottom and let's add a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for this explosion brush so select this one and let's make it a little lighter and let's add some brush right over here and same thing let's go over here and let's add a new layer let's add right over here and let's go to the very top and let's add a new layer and let's make it a little darker and maybe let's add 
few strokes right over here and let's add a one more layer and let's make it a little lighter and let's add one right over here now let's select this layer and let's drop down the saturation some more maybe right around here and let's add a new layer and let's add some brush stroke in between these two layers so let's add a rotation and let's change the color overlay a little darker yep somewhere around here now let's add some text so go over here okay. now control T let's make it bigger and let's add some rotation right click let's add some skew to and let's keep it right over here let's keep it under this layer and let's change the color to maybe like the darker red something like that maybe more darker or yep something like that color and let's rasterize this layer and now select this layer and let's go for a lasso tool and let's make a random selection and control shift j to make a copy and move it a new layer and let's move it right like that and again let's add some more on this side control shift j v let's move it a little up and again select this layer let's add another chunk control shift j v let's move it maybe right over here and let's add some other text And now let's drag and drop this image over here and let's change it to to overlay control T let's uh, make it a little bigger and let's change the opacity just a little touch yep something like that and yes that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video